Another example of uh, problems when shelling um, is this particular component here. And what we'd like to do is we just basically want to add uh, a 5mm shell in the base uh, of this component. So we'll go to our features and shell and we'll add a 5mm and click on this face and accept that. And again, we have got a particular problem with this particular uh, component. So we're going to have to look at uh, a workaround to get around this. So the problem area is actually this here. It's where our, our faces all merge together into one vertex, that particular point there. That's where it's causing the problem. So as before, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, create a copy of this particular body onto itself. So we're going to go to Insert Features, Move Copy, and we want to move and copy this body onto itself in the same position, accept it, and you can see now we now have two solid bodies. So like before, we're actually going to hide the original one. And just so we can see a difference between the two, I'm just going to change the color. So we'll change this to be a blue. And if we uh, just choose the blue from our palette, uh, that color will do fine. Okay. So next thing we'd like to do is we want to cut away the problem area. And as I said before, it's this point here. So we're just going to add a sketch on this particular face. Um, we're just going to uh, just draw a circle. We'll start at the vertex again. The actual size of it is not really that important. So we're just going to uh, put a cut through all. And OK. And there's our, uh, we've just removed that particular problem area. Now what we're going to do is we're going to shell this, so I'm going to go back to my features. We're going to go with shell, 5mm, click on this particular face, and you can see indeed that that now shells. But it isn't exactly what we want, so, so what we're going to do is uh, look at the base of this, and using our face delete command, so we're going to go to insert, face, and delete, and I'd like to delete and patch that particular cylindrical face there. We'll just click on OK. And you can see now that has actually given us the finish that we want, albeit the top of the component isn't exactly what we're after. But what we could do is similar to what we did before, we can create a sketch and we can extrude up to next and then using the combined subtract one body from another. But I'm going to show an alternative using surfaces. Now what we haven't got in SolidWorks is a command to turn a solid body into a surface. But we have got something similar by using our face delete command. So if we go to insert, face and delete, and this time I'm just going to delete that top face, but I don't want to patch it, I just want to delete it and just click on OK. And what that has done is really taken our solid body and because we've deleted the face, it's now converted it all into surfaces. And as you can see, we've now got two surface bodies. Now, the second surface that we've got, we don't really want, so I'm just going to right click and delete that particular body. Leaving us with just a skin of our required shell. So using our extend commands that are in our surfaces, we're gonna to go to our extend surface. And what I'd like to do is click on all four faces and just extend these up 10 millimeters, just so we can, uh, it's just for visual purposes because once I've accepted that, and I bring back our original solid back into it, and we'll show this, you can see that the shell now extends out of our solid body. Sorry, not the shell, the, the actual surface. And now we're going to do our insert cut with surface, and I'm gonna choose that surface and remove all the solid geometry within that particular surface area. And we'll just accept that, and you can see that that's now removed the solid. We'll hide our surface, and that leaves us now with our shell component exactly as we require. Before we finish off with this particular model, let me just show you another alternative. And for this, what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna use my rollback bar and I'm just going to roll back to before we added any extra solid bodies or anything like that. And one of the things that we always encourage is 
using symmetry wherever possible. Now, because this component is symmetrical, what we're going to do is actually cut it in half. Now we've got our front plane that actually goes right through the center of our component. So I'm just going to do an insert cut with surface again, and we're going to remove all the geometry on one side of that plane. And we'll just accept that. So there you go, we have our component, okay, chopped in half. Now we're going to go to our original shell. Okay, we're going to go with the five millimeters, but we're going to select these two faces and click on OK. Now you see that it does actually shell it when the component's in half. It's because it's too complex once it's one whole. But once we've actually added the shell, all we need to do now is just go to our mirror and we want to click on this face for being the mirror plane and we want to, instead of copy or mirroring the feature, we want to mirror the whole body and we'll just select the half of a component, just click on OK and again we've got our shell component but a lot simpler than using the copy bodies and surfaces. So there's a couple of workarounds there on shelling.